we're back. Howdy, y'all. This is Ian Von Real playing. What the fuck is this game? Um, Oracle of Ages. And last time we were here, we picked up the Cheval Rope, did some trading quest stuff, and found the Zora's Flippers. Definitely not in that or order. Almost an aura. I don't know why. And this part, we're gonna go ahead and make use of the Cheval Rope, because. As you notice, we can't actually equip it, it's actually an item, uh, in our key item screen. So, let's go ahead and make use of this stuff. Hey! That's it! With that Cheval rope, I could finish my raft. Let me have that rope, please. Okay. Thank you. Tell you what, you can be the first to ride my ra- oh my. I think he's waiting with me. But you'll need a chart if you want to go out to sea. Going without a chart is an invitation to disaster. I'll have the wrap ready by the time you get a chart. So what you have to do here, and what I didn't think about, or wasn't sure about, because this Let's Play is blind outside of me re-recording takes that I screw up on, um, is that you actually have to go to the present. Hold on, let's talk to Ralph again. Well, if it isn't Bonray. <laughs> Dawdling about as usual, I see. What are you doing? You need an island chart? I've heard that weird guy has sea charts to the secret isle. Do you what you want? I'm too busy trying to save Naru to help you. Smell you later, nerd. Naru. I don't like that voice. I actually just went with a deeper one, because... My dad's asleep and I don't want to sound too loud. Although I guess a lower sound doesn't actually make the sound less loud. Anyway... Um... What the dicks? Um... What? What? What was I doing? Oh yeah, we need to go to the present. <laughs> I get confused sometimes. Um... But yeah, what, what you have to do here is kind of in, intuitive in that you actually have to go to the present and talk to someone and get a chart from the present and take it to the past. Which I think is a bit awkward, but I guess when you think about it, um, the ocean itself probably isn't going to change that much over time. Well, I guess as long as the structure is still there, then you're fine. I don't know. Um, but in any case, it just seems kind of awkward. So what we have to do, actually, is go ahead... Oops. I'm gonna go ahead and unequip this and save myself some problems. Oh my good god. Don't tell me what my tune echoes in. Anyway. You need to go down... Actually, let's stand here. Yes, this way. Actually, this is a more roundabout way to go, but... You do have to eventually make your way up here, outside of the old graveyard. Okay, what's this guy's name? Ho, oh, I'm Ricky! Usually I can play a holes and cliffs with my patented jump, but I'm not in such a good mood right now. You see, I lost my precious gloves. I think I left them by the tree on the beach, but I can't seem to find them. Oh, he's been talking. That is basically going to be our next animal companion, if you didn't tell. Um, after Moosh, Ricky is the second one we'll meet in this game. And he's probably the most practical TBH. Um, he's not my favorite, but realistically, he offers a lot of things that the others don't. He's very mobile, and what I mean by that is he's not slow as hell. He moves a little bit faster than Link runs. And, oh, you know what? I forgot what we had to do for a sec. And, um, he has a long range attack, which. Yes! You got Ricky's gloves! Take them back to their owner. He's just overall very practical, but not my favorite. I, he is my second choice, though, after my favorite, who we'll run into soon enough. Anyway, after I pick up. Ricky, I'll go ahead and finish the conversation I had last part that I cut off in the middle of. 
pay you my gloves. Get free out them. Thanks. Now I'll help y'all find what y'all are looking for. Hop into my pocket. Oh my, what a creep. Press A to punch or build up power to unleash a tornado. I can also jump small holes or cliffs. XD, I've jumped a few small holes. XD, XD, wink, wink. A cliff? Oh, excuse me. A cliff like that one is... I'll just continue on. I'll jump if you move up to it. Try it. Yay, I can jump high. If you move towards a hole, I'll just jump right over it. Oh yeah, that's the other benefit. He's basically like... The ro having the rock's feather equipped at all times, so you don't have to, like, dismount him to move for certain obstacles. Anyway, this is the guy we're actually looking for. He's Tingle. Um, if you're not familiar with the other Zelda games, and he has a very huge hate dump. Hey. Hey. You're supposed to jump. There we go. You're supposed to jump and slash his balloon. That face. What's this? Green clothes? Sir, are you smitten with forest fairies? My name is Tingle, the one and only. I am a true fairy. XD. The villagers say that at 35 I should open my eyes. But I say Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. How'd you like Tingle the fairy for a friend? Aw oh, yeah, baby. Then from today, you and Tingle are friends. Yes, yes. As a sign of our friendship, Tingle will give you his chart that shows you the way to his secret blah blah blah. You got the island chart. Come back here anytime you wish to see Tingle. Tingle, tingle, kalumpa. These are the magic words that Tingle created myself. Don't steal them. I guess you found what you were after. This is just between you and me, but I can't stand this guy. I'll see you later. Ponch, ponch. I'm kind of jaded about Tingle. Um, he has a. We can't do this yet. He has a pretty wide hate dump. Um. Some reasons more homophobic than others, um, <laughs> um, but not completely. He he does is a legitimately kind of douchey character. In the other games he's in, um, the services he's he provides, he charges an ass load of money for them, and then he is um, basically he's extremely greedy. And then I think that it doesn't help that he. Some of the things you have to go through with him, i.e. in Wind Waker, um, are designed to make you hate him, just because you have to interact with him to complete the game, and it costs an ass load of money to deal with him. But, um, I, I think a lot of it, realistically, a lot of it stems from him being, I, in air quotes, creepy, because he's basically um, a decidedly flamboyant man dresses in spandex, and the world just isn't ready for that. Where am I going? Okay, we're going back to the past. There we go. That's why I put the heart. I get distracted easily. But anyway, tingle aside, I, um... <laughs> My ass is tired. I need to go to sleep soon. Anyway, I remember last part I was talking about my college campus and stuff. And I stopped in the middle of a conversation. It's in my notes here. Damn it! I need to go ahead and unlock this before I get distracted. Um, one of the things I worry about, um, like I said, I'm part of this um, GLBTQ organization at my college campus. Whatever. And you know, it's a pretty small group. Um, drama happens occasionally, oftenly, um, but that, that, that's kind of just what happens. Realistically, when you work with any group of people, and it's an insulated group with people having emotions in it, it drama just happens. It's, it's just a part of life. But you know, it's 
it's a pretty cool place, and part of our mission statement is that we're supposed to be a safe space, and kind of a support group. And one of the things I kind of find myself worrying about a lot with Oak Group is that we're kind of... In a way, we're very sheltered, in a way we're not. Like, this... What, what we have is decidedly kind of not in the norm. Even compared to other college campus groups, our, our organization is fairly large. Hold on, let's go ahead and... Hey, what took so long? My raft is ready. Come over here. Are you gonna keep your pants on? I'm kinda scared. Shove off from here, or over there. The raft awaits. Climb on top and press blah blah to move. Well, okay, I guess we can start moving. I'm sad there isn't, like, rafting music. So this is pretty cool. What the hell is a boat? Anyway. Um. <sighs> We're decidedly different from a lot of college campuses in that, um, Oh no! Ah. It's thundering. Oh no, there's winds and rocks. Oh god, a monkey. Oh god, more monkeys. Hey! Green people. What the? <laughs> oh my god, I've been jacked. Green folks be Devo in my shit. What is this? Brownie phase. So what happens here basically is that you get hoodwinked. Um, and we need to play a game to get our pieces back, our shit back. This is Crescent Island. I've never seen a toke like you. You have ears. Are you a long-eared toke? How do they know what ears are if their race doesn't have them? Well, I guess other, I guess animals have them. But it seems weird that a group of people who don't have something would have a name for it. Like, is there a... I don't know how to explain this. Is there a traditional, <laughs> a non-imported word for afros for, like, Japanese people? I found this by the sea. It was next to a toke with no tail. Hey, you don't have a tail either. Oh, is this, um, take this. I don't need it. That's all I picked up. But maybe other toke took stuff too. But maybe not. Maybe you should, you know, uh, look around. Anyway, back to what I was talking about before. I'm just gonna keep getting distracted. Um, basically, what I worry about is that we're a very insulated group, and a lot of people... You know, I'm kind of worried about when we get in the outside world, so to speak, and people actually... We can't go this way yet. We yeah, People actually experience... Um, I mean... People experience discrimination at our college campus, too, but I don't... I'm kind of worried people are going to get, like, beat up, <laughs> kind of. Like, I was talking to one of my friends, and he did not really... I mean, he did not believe it, but he didn't... He wasn't, like... He didn't know it's not really kind of in the norm to, like, kind of get heckled a bit if you're, like, openly gay in public. Or just openly, well, hell, you are openly not normal. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Can't go this way, oh god. And it just, that kind of really made me nervous. Which is cool, but... And then part of the other problem is that... Where the f*** am I supposed to go? Huh. Huh. The f Did I just push? Oh shit. Um... 
what the feck am I supposed to do? <laughs> I'm so lost. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here, I'm gonna continue this conversation in a bit. Um, I'll catch y'all later. See ya.